The bombings at the Kabul airport raising questions tonight about the terror threat level in the U.S. The Department of Homeland Security issued a bulletin on that just a couple of weeks ago, warning Americans here to be on alert. News Nation's Tom Negevin is live overlooking Lower Manhattan tonight with the very latest. Tom. Actually, in Manhattan tonight, Marnie, a city that's been in a heightened state of awareness for the past two decades. Officials here saying today there's no known or specific or credible threat, but counterterrorism measures here already heightened as we prepare to mark 20 years since 9 11. The latest bulletin from the Department of Homeland Security's National Terrorism Advisory System came out 13 days ago. It stays in effect until Veterans Day, November 11th, but could be extended long after that. Current intelligence, according to DHS, is saying a couple of important things. One, that frustration with the battle against COVID-19 could lead to an act of domestic terror. And two, much more relevant given the events of today, that leading up to the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula recently released its first English language copy of Inspire magazine in over four years, which the Department of Homeland Security says demonstrates that foreign terrorist organizations are still trying to inspire U.S.-based people into violent and extremist acts. Watching Afghanistan quickly fall as the U.S. withdrew, national security analysts feared this day was coming. There was no safe way of getting out of this 20-year mess. And um, we're seeing how difficult it is to unravel these circumstances once you get involved. <laughs> New York's Counterterrorism Bureau is in a constant state of alert. But tonight, there's global concern that terrorist groups have room to regroup in Taliban controlled Afghanistan, just in time to mark the 9 11 anniversary. Given the bombing there this morning, is there an elevated terror threat in the city now um, related to the events there? News of the Kabul attacks broke during this morning's media briefing by New York City's mayor. Uh, we're watching that very closely. Uh, we do not have a specific and credible threat directed at New York City right now, uh, but we are watching closely, and obviously our counterterrorism apparatus can move very quickly if we see anything of direct concern to us. And while experts are watching, waiting to see what the latest intelligence brings them, whether the 9-11 anniversary, two weeks from Saturday, inspires violence by foreign groups, they also point out, and they're very specific about this, Martin, that they're much better at spotting and stopping those kinds of activities than they were two decades ago. Certainly hope so. Tom Negevin live in New York tonight. Tom, thank you.